Hey folks, welcome back. I'm a rough pebble and I'm playing some more Songs of Six version 66 beta and uh, I'm picking up with my long form guide slash tutorial here. So in the prior episode we had um, built out our lavatories, so expanding our hygiene and health a little bit. We had finished building a laboratory, so we're ready to go ahead and start doing some research. Uh, we built the farm next to our fishing, uh, fishing um, docks over here. We've got plenty of housing. As a matter of fact, we have 20 spare rooms right now. And we have 34 Dundarians living in our village. Uh, we also have some good stalls here, some food and general good stalls, which are helping distribute some resources around town. Good. All right, we'll go ahead and get going here. Um, we'll continue to... One thing that we do need to do is fix up some of these spaces. So we currently have one janitor, but I think we need a second architect to get out there. Um, and I'm going to pull you out of the speaker for now. So we need to sort of flex our manpower a little bit. Could maybe pull you out of here, but I don't think I want to do that. I think we want to get as much food out of this as possible. Okay, good. Um, and then I think that we should probably start focusing on some religion to bring in some folks here. Um, we have... Zero worshippers of a minion. We have 94 to a 3% to Krator, and 3 to Shmalor. We'll do a Thori then. Alright, and we'll toss you right here. Okay. Good. This will be a good spot for our uh, religious people to come down and and do what they do what they believe in. Okay, and then we can do under settings enable here. Yes. Okay, and we have the two here. They should be working on all of this now. Wonderful. There are, some folks are also working on clearing out this shrine. And we did upgrade our warehouse in the prior episode as well. So we now have a lot more space and capacity here. That we've already filled up the rocks and the, the wood again. Uh, maybe we can even put a little bit more into those here as well. Okay. And we have harvested our veggies here, so those will be coming in in just a moment. And we have a ton of food now. Very good. Very, very good. How's this coming along? Okay, yes. We fixed up the, the Cerebrim Central Lab. Um... Uh, the... We'll call them the village respite holes. Okay. And then this is almost done. We have a lot of helpers right now, so that's good. Yeah, all of these uh, folks who were working on the fields have taken a little bit of a break. And give, yeah, we've brought in 129 vegetables plus anything that's in here. Nothing, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, we can bring in the veggies here and the rations as well. Okay. There we go. <coughs> And how are we doing here? Yes, fixing up some more of the roads here. Great, fixing up the warehouse. 
good, good, good. And this is almost done. Yes, okay, finish building it. We have 70% workload, which means we have uh, a lot of folks here, but that's okay. That means they get off early, um, and they can come down here and help out on other tasks. So that's actually pretty, that's actually pretty good. Um, we also could use a little bit more wood. So let's go ahead and maybe give them some, some goals here. Okay. Thirty-four, thirty-five. Okay, it's slowly getting done. Okay, and now it's busy times. All right, twelve seems like a an a, an appropriate number here. Okay, and yes, we're at forty-five here now. How is this coming along? Okay, we're very close to being done fixing up the town. A few things to fix up here at the fishery. Not a lot of degradation, though. Not a lot at all. Okay, great. Yeah, let's just put back to one here. And the other person can come do some odd jobs here. Build for a little bit. Uh, right, and we're up to a hundred workload here. Um, yes, the sooner we get this done, the better. Okay, there we go. Now we're working. Yes, very good. And this is still a hundred percent. Alright, 90%. There we go. The Shrine to Athuri. Rock. We'll call it the Sperebus Shrine. Though it is to Athuri, we will call this the Cerebus Shrine. Very good. And that should raise everybody's loyalty and access to religion. Yes. Shrines. Oops. There we go. Yes. We're harvesting the trees here now. Oh, and we should put you back into here. There we go. There we go. And now... We've got folks wanting to join us. Yeah, let's go ahead and start bringing them in slowly. So that's another person. Cerebus Shrine. We'll call this the Grand Cerebus Shrine. Very good. Alright, another one. That's... Two odd jobbers that we can put uh, into the fishery here for now. We don't need... We don't need anybody sort of attending to that right now. Okay. So yes, we'll now get a little bit more fish. That's good. That's good, good, good. Um, we'll get through the winter here. Let's go ahead and just speed up time a little bit. Get through winter. Very good. Going to spring. Bring another person in. So immigration is slowly coming. Or is, is slowly on the rise. And uh, we have the capacity to keep bringing more folks in here. So yeah, I'll put another person in here. So we'll have a few... Working on the farms, we'll have or in the pastures, a few on the in the fisheries here. We still have room for five more. 
And I'd love to upgrade you. Oh, you know what? We should go ahead and do access to this here. Okay. Um, and we can definitely enable maintenance on this. Yeah, go ahead and fix that up here. Cool. Yeah, it's degraded, but we'll fix it up in the morning. And we still have room for 17 more folks. Bring in another one. That's This one will go into the fishery. Okay. There we go, and hopefully we can get some more fish as well. Yes. Anything? No, I can't upgrade any of this right now. No, I don't. Can't do any of that. Alright. Um, and then the other thing that we should maybe think about is a tailor. So, we could maybe build... I would maybe do a warehouse... So we don't need distribution logistics. Um... Something like this. Something like that. Um, and then something like that, maybe. And then do one more here. Okay. Um, yes, build that out of stone. This will be another warehouse that we'll keep here. Um, though... Kind of want to bring it down a little bit, so it's like... This, very small. I think that should be fine. Though I don't know actually if I want it over here then. Because I do want to keep building out this plaza sort of symmetrical a little bit. Maybe sticking it down here then. So yes, we'll do that. <laughs> And it can be relatively small. It doesn't have to be huge. Yeah, there's the tailor. That's what we're looking for. So we have all this leather. Uh, I can hover over the tailor here, and we can see that under production, uh, we have three options. We can use leather to make clothing, fabric to make clothing, or leather to make armor, light armor. Um, let's go ahead and do that to make clothing. Capital relocated. The faction of Novik has moved its capital. Its people still resist. Um, yeah, um, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do a little storage, or yeah, we'll do the tailor first and then we'll build the storage. So yeah, let's do something like this. Um, actually, maybe let's do it like this, and we can maybe make it go down a little bit. Do this. 
and then do a workbench down to here. Uh, whoops, that's not where I meant to put it. Um, okay, that's 50% efficiency. I think we could just do... Something like that. Um, and okay, let's keep expanding it down a little bit. And then, uh, do the workbench. Something like that. And then do something like this. And then do this. Auxiliary. Perfect. All right, that seems like a good workshop for our, ta our first tailor. That's 23 employees, 46 production. Wonderful. We're not using any extra materials, and we need doors. We'll toss a door in here and a door in here. And, yeah, I think, well, actually, no, just here for now. That's sufficient. All right. Good, and that tailor will go a long ways. How much furniture do we need? 88. Okay, that's fine. That's completely fine. Uh, we can keep bringing in more folks. Another two. That's We're up to 40. Amarird. An Amarird is a rightful ruler of a land. As such, we can now conduct trade with our neighbors. Immigration increased. Okay. Hmm... Trade with our neighbors. Okay. Well, we'll get into that here in just a bit. Let's continue to build out this tailor. Um, we should maybe do this and get a an import and an export. Let's do one here. That's the... Hmm. Okay, hold on. Okay, wait. Is that right? No, no, no. It needs to be the smaller one here. An even smaller one. Aha, there we go. Mm-hmm. The domain of Athusa. I am Jared the 15th, supreme ruler of Athusa. I am your neighbor, and I welcome you to my lands. I wish you a pleasant and peace hopefully peaceful stay. Please accept this humble gift. I think we take it? I guess we take it, but are you going to be upset? Are you upset with me now? Minus point two two. 
I should have turned it down then. Can I offer you some resources? No. No, 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 you're not interested. Though, maybe I could get enough to upgrade my... Oh no, this is great, yeah. Let's go ahead and get, sell enough of this stuff to upgrade. Three hundred. No, no, no. Uh, let's do two hundred here. Okay. And then demand money. Four seven four zero. Five. Okay, so that's we'll get four thousand. Oh yeah, no, what? We don't need this. <laughs> and then uh, okay, so. This is all right. So here's what's going on with the trade. Um, here's what we can offer. We can offer anything that we have in our in, in our warehouse. Currently, we have a bunch of the leather, so I'm gonna sell that. Uh, but we will be able to make clothing out of that. We could try to uh, set up a trade agreement or uh, become colleagues. All of this costs a ton of money, so you can see that now the value of this trade is negative 230, meaning uh, we need to come up with a significant sum of money to. Uh, sort of initiate that. Um, all right. It's likely because they are such a large nation. Um, basically, though, we are offering what we need is 20 or something close to that uh, amount of fabric so that we can get our fishery up and running a little bit more uh, productive, productively. We can upgrade it. Um, and I'm going to sell 200 of my leather. So Athusa gets 200 leather, we get 20 fabric. Um, but the value of this trade is 4,720. Um, I will try to get demand 4,000. And I will see if the 722 increases their liking of me at all. It did not... Really, I think, as a matter of fact, I think they liked me less as a result of that. I don't... I'm, I'm not particularly sure, but I think this is fine. Well, let's go ahead and maybe move these around a little bit. And we're going to stop you from collecting this for right now. Hmm... All right, no, this is fine. Let's just do it right here. Import. Pass in the export. Right there. It's good. We'll have another warehouse over on this side. <clears throat> okay, and we can allow more immigrants in. Some are hungry. Oh, it's one of these immigrants. Come get some food. We have plenty of it down here. Don't worry. Alright. Alright. And now we have... All of our leather being grabbed up. Where is it getting grabbed up? Just in our inventory. Oh no, it's being grabbed up by this person right here. They have a cart, and it's getting filled up. That's right. Uh, so they're grabbing the 300 leather that we, um, or the 200, is it 200 leather? I think it was just 200. Uh, that we sold to get some of the fabric, which we don't have in here yet. But it will get delivered, certainly. Um, as soon as that is delivered to them. Great. Uh, we can continue to expand our population. We've got three folks here now. 
You're still grabbing up all this leather. Maybe it was 300 leather that we sold. Either way, we have a surplus of it and we don't need it right now. Alright. Alright, and there they go. The trader. Okay, and we've harvested more vegetables. Bringing all of that in. Very good. Bring in some more individuals. Another one. Another starving individual. We'll bring... and We'll add it to our... We'll add one to our ranch. We'll add one to our fishery. So for every, like, four or five folks we bring in, we should probably be putting a few into food. Bring in... One more. We're at 45 population now. I think that's pretty good. Let's get the trade depots set up. We've got the tailor coming up as well. That shouldn't take too long. And we've got this Grand Service Shrine, which is very handy. Two more. Bring them. I have seven housing left here. And I think we should go ahead um, and... Build something like that. Okay, and we've got the import depot. The foreign... And trader... Stalls. And then this will be... Surplus Export Station. Alright. Very good. Uh, we can definitely... Um, yeah, do something like that. Get a, get a few more roads there. Nice, and keep bringing in two more folks here, a third one, that, that puts us to 50. We still have some housing here available. Yes, we've built all of these houses now. Uh, and we're steadily working on the, the tailor. Put another one into the ranch and one into the fishery. Okay. And we have 56 research now. We have two researchers in our research station, or in the uh, laboratory. They are producing the research that we need to unlock any one of these. So we could unlock better edible crop optimization. The fishing methods increases our production by 0.1. We can increase our husbandry methods. Um, ultimately, we will want to get to this improved laboratory because that'll sort of multiply how much we're able to get out of each laboratory. Work safety. I think we want the fish first. So let's go ahead and get uh, an investment into that. We can do 25 levels of fishing if we wanted to. Each level costs a little bit more research. Um, we'll also want to focus on getting libraries and all of these advanced method or you know knowledge production things. So a lot to go uh, start looking into. We can see that our fisheries have a little bit more productivity here, so that's good. And really, 50 research isn't all that much. It seems like a lot right now since we're producing so little research, but um, 50 research is good for a 10% increase in our fish. Particularly because our Dundarians love the fish so much, so that's uh, that's just a good thing. All right, there we go. And you know what? We don't need you here. We don't have any trade deals at the moment, so that's fine. Um, yeah, you're spreading news. You've got the one person here. Four folks in here. 
And this is going to require 88 furniture. Um, I would put two more folks into this. I would put one more person in here just to keep things going. Um, and then put one into here. One into fish. And then maybe... Let's go ahead and grab up some of these trees back here. Oh, whoops. That's good. And we can bring in two more folks. Yeah, keep doing it. We've got the housing here. Alright. And then let me clear the rocks here. Clear out all those rocks there. Very nice. And the workload is fluctuated, fluctuating between 97 and 80 something. So that's that's fine. That's kind of where we want to keep it. Uh, we're continuing to research. We have another 26 research here. And this we are delivering the furniture slowly, but yes, we are now producing quite a bit of furniture. As a matter of fact, why don't we just go ahead and put everybody that's not producing at this point into there, because really what we need now is just furniture. Another three population, bring them, bring them in. We still have more and more housing here, so that's totally fine. I will put one into here, one into here, and then one into the fishery, and that's the fishery maxed out there. And I will do a few more here. We can still withstand a little bit more growth here. And then we'll dole out or divvy out some of the uh, the carpenters here into tailors once as soon as we get this up and running. No, 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 no. Let's just leave it alone. Yeah, we're at 14 out of 88 there. Okay. It's going to take a little bit of time, but that's totally fine. Okay, and we have a little bit of a surplus here. But it might be temporary. It's only a surplus of three. Um, this is a great method or tool to sort of track... Um, production rates. So here, this is when we built our farm. We can see we have a lot of uh, growth here in the vegetables. This is our continued increase in livestock and ranchers. Same with this. Um, this is, again, the same thing with the ranchers and then trading away. This is our... Uh, policy to allow our citizens to have furniture. We can kind of see what some of these trends, what what, what it's doing to our supply, and uh, or if we're you know allocating more workers to various things, if that's having an impact or not, or or where we really need to adjust. Um, keep bringing them in because we have the housing. Otherwise, I wouldn't. I wouldn't let them come in, but this is fine. We're at 17% workload, completely good. We need some minus 19. Is that a need? The heck is a minus 19 supposed to mean in the context of amount of goods stored here? Maybe that's demand. If that is demand, that's really helpful. A slaver has arrived and is offering his goods. Would you like to make a purchase or a sale? No. We have no slaves and we wouldn't like to trade any. Okay. Let's see here. Get a 
few more workers in here then. Be bringing in more citizens. We can still... We can still take a growth. It's the fishery right now that is actually not producing enough fish, or not producing as much fish as I would like. Uh, and we can actually upgrade it. That's right. Let's go ahead and do that. We need 16 of the furniture. What we're going to do is just, all right, bring in another person. Go to access and just lower this. Just briefly, that's going to bring in a surplus of furniture. We can use none of it because it's all getting delivered here let's actually release more of it then and here quickly let's upgrade this okay that is going to produce more fish now okay and we just need one more bit of furniture here. There we go. Okay, and now you all can have... Get back to getting full access to all the furniture there. Still minus 19 here, huh? Okay. Well, great. And now we'll start producing clothing for everybody. So they'll be happier in that regard as well. That is access and yes, this one. It'll be clothing here. That'll be very good. Very, very nice. And with that, I'm going to end this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit subscribe and like. And uh, see you in the next episode, where we're going to tackle some more things. And all things related to Songs of Six, where we grow our little village here into a large multi-city empire and we sweep across the lands but we'll see each other in the next one take care